restaurant that pays homage to Old Florida, the Floridian serves innovative, updated Southern fare made with fresh local ingredients from area farms. Jeff, what are we drinking today? Well, we've got a couple items here. Um, you have what we call the Grapefruit Bianco. Uh, it's a Cochi Americano Bianco, which is a, a gentian-focused uh, white wine aperitif from Italy. And this is what we call the Ginger Beer, which is primarily beer, which is a red wine French aperitif, um, a little falernum, a uh, little grapefruit juice, and then ginger beer on top. So they're just kind of quick, fun. We call them porch sippers on the okay. menu. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers to that. Yes, mate. Cheers. So when did you guys open? It'll be uh, four years this summer. It was a Labor Day weekend, 2010. Okay. So. And it's you and your wife are a team here. That's right. She is the she's the chef and the kitchen manager. Um, so yeah, we are the team at the moment with um, a bunch of very helpful staff members as well and friends. How did you decide to start this restaurant? Jeannie and I, ever since we had been together as a couple, had talked about opening a place, um, whether it would be a bar or a restaurant. Um, we kind of always just loved a sense of place. Jeannie had been working at a farmer's market booth and doing a small, kind of small scale catering and really developed her culinary skills and people, you know, they, like they tell people, you you guys could really do this. And um, <laughs> it was up in the air and we said, now or never. And so we kind of just, uh, kind of just leapt into it. And, and so. you mentioned you wanted a sense of place and a space. And this really is because it's kind of like a three part thing. So you got the bar, you got right. the restaurant, you've got the back. Yeah. Um, we want everyone to be comfortable, have something on the menu for everybody. Um, we're able to host live music on occasion in the back courtyard. Um, we've got the front patio for a different feel, inside for a more traditional dining. And then, yeah, the inside bar back there, which is a nice cozy. Um, it can be very busy and hectic, but uh, a nice bar feel kind of as well. Kind escape to the bar. Yeah, it works. All right. Is it safe to say that your um, southern comfort food, but with a healthy, fresh kind of style? We call it innovative southern fare. Okay. Um, and then our tagline for omnivores, herbivores, and locavores. Um, right. Having vegetarian options and even vegan options on the menu was very important from the beginning. And gluten intolerant. Jeannie happens to be uh, gluten intolerant herself, oh, so okay. she still wants to make delicious things. Uh, if you look at our entrees now, actually there's two of them that are not gluten free. And um, for a menu like ours, it's, it's and you would never guess, it almost doesn't matter. They just happen to be gluten free. So we're happy to offer, offer those alternatives for people. So. You guys source from several farms. I read, the last thing I read was 12. Is it still 12? It still probably hovers. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> and that makes Jeannie's job both um, interesting and rather difficult as far as inventory, ordering, pickup, drop off, um, number of farms we go to the market to pick up from. Some are able to drop off to us. Being at the farmer's market beforehand, as I was mentioning, when she had a stall there, she had already connected with at least a few people. So. so I have to imagine uh, having farm to table and sourcing from all of these places, your menu must change quite often. It does, it changes every few months and we okay. say seasonally. Um, people like menus, flat out. They like right. to know that the next time they go back, <laughs> the thing that, that they enjoyed is going to be available. <laughs> um, therefore we change up salsas and sides and salads. Um, for the most part, the most uh, important dishes stay, stay on the menu, the core dishes stay on the menu. So. Standout dishes. What are some of your, your standouts, must-haves? I hear the mac and cheese, or it's not really mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. That one, um, <laughs> like really popular. ironically, <laughs> just got taken off the menu for, oh. for temporarily, I okay. would say, like a lot of things. Um, it might make a comeback. It was or more like a, uh, not so mac, much mac and cheese, as it says, okay. but a more like a casserole of sorts, or like a farro risotto. Okay. Um, um, shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, gotta have shrimp Been and grits. Been on the menu since day one. Okay. It's um, gonna be uh, shrimp sauteed, and we toss that in a, like a slightly spicy remoulade. We've had to kind of dial back the spicy because once again, appealing to everybody's palates. Of course. Um, and we serve those over polenta cakes, so not technically grits at all. Um, Italian style polenta, yeah. yellow coarse ground cornmeal. We top that with goat's feta cheese, um, a seasonal salsa. So for instance, right now it's a corn poblano, and then we serve that with um, our sauteed veggies of the day, whatever they might be. Okay. And that's definitely a standout dish. Actually, we're staying at um, 
the Bayfront Marin Inn and Sandy, who's the owner, said that you guys make something called Perlo. And mm -hmm. I had never heard of this. So it is um, yeah, it's native to the area. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's, it's a Spanish it's a dish. Spanish Menorcan, um, Menorcan immigrated to the Low Country, North Florida area. Um, so it's spelled P-I-L-A-U. Um, it does have different spellings, different pronunciations. We call it Perlo. And um, in this case, it's shrimp and sausage in a tomato-based uh, gravy, for lack of a better word. Okay. And we use the local indigenous dattle pepper to spice it. And, um, yeah, the perlo, all that served over um, a rice-based dish. Um, so it's a really simple. It's, it's essentially like a, like a peasant food, but it comes together really, really well. So. It's so funny you mentioned that pepper because I was reading the menu before we got here, which is why I'm laughing, thinking, what is this? I've never what heard of this. What is date till? Yeah. What is date uh, till? You have the date till ketchup, the date till chipotle mayo, the date so till precisely. strawberry. <laughs> That's going to be the daddle pepper daddle. that we turn into the daddle dust, and then we use it in all sorts of stuff, and it gives it gives the dishes a, just a nice, unique flavor, um, a little bit of heat, so not, not too much, but just a little bit. Now, just behind, we talked about the front here, we've got the back part, yeah. the Florida room. Talk about the Florida the room. Florida what, room. What goes on back there? <laughs> the Florida room is, is a hybrid concept. Um, we took over the space about a year ago. It was an already existing bakery and sort of deli area. Okay. If you walk into the Florida room, that's going to be, um, it's a little coffee shop deli bakery. So we've got prepared sandwiches, more like grab and go, quick style stuff, um, really nice espresso. Um, and then uh, six beers on tap, wine. So it's it's many different things at the moment. You can go and buy Sweetwater coffee by the pound. Um, and it's also an evolving concept as, as everything is sort of, um, we'd like to feature more market goods back there eventually and um, do a little more breakfasty type stuff eventually. So it's still it's still moving forward as well. Yeah, it's funny, Sean mentioned, you know, this is a very unique uh, place, St. Augustine. <laughs> Nobody honks, everybody's polite. Yeah. It's like a cute little quaint town. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it has its, uh, it has its charm, you know, sometimes so charming that you are stuck in traffic behind a horse and buggy for <laughs> 30 minutes or a, or a trolley car full of people. But yeah, it you all just goes patiently into... patiently wait. Yeah, for se <laughs> yeah, yeah, we couldn't do... Um, we are... We like to be a locals restaurant and we get tons of regulars and locals, but if you're downtown, you're not going to exist without the tourists as well. So we're happy to have them back. Cheers uh, to your beautiful space and your four years you. and being so young, you're a success. Thank you very much. Well, I right. appreciate that.